Unless you are brand new to my channel or you've been living in a cave with no access to internet for the last two months, you'll know that Regen Rovers is returning to my channel for Football Manager 2019. A common question I have been asked is, Paul, how, how do you do this? How do you create a Regen Rovers? How do you create a team full of Regens? How do you get loads of Regens to appear at the start of the game? Now, it seemed to be a problem on FM18. FM17, there wasn't really a problem, but FM18 there was. However, it seems to have been rectified on FM19, which I'm hugely relieved about because, of course, my series is going to be based on creating a club and only using new gens, regens, whatever you want to call them, the fake players that are created by the game. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, the method that I used on FM17. But as I have explained previously, my series is coming out once the full game has been released because I'm going to be creating the club on the editor and I will do a separate video on how I create Regen Rovers for FM19. But I want to show you how to create Regen Rovers the old fashioned way, uh, which is the create a club mode. And now there is a really important button that you need to press for loads of new gens slash regens to appear at the start of the game. And it's this one here. You need to make sure you have add players to playable teams selected. Now in the old days, I noticed if you click this, you'd get lots of old new gens appear. So they'd just be 26, 27, 30 years old, etc. However, on FM19, they seem to have changed it. So you get loads of young regions, 15, 16 years, which is what I want. So I'm gonna be selecting this button. Now I didn't select this button when I created this series on FM17. If you are brand new to the channel, by the way, there will be a video in the description below to introduce you to Regen Rovers Series 1 from FM17, and hopefully you can get to grips with what it's all about before I start my series on FM19. Anyway, back to this. Yes, make sure that is selected so that loads of new gens appear at the start of the game and they're, they're gonna start young as well, which is a real bonus. And then you just need to start the game usually. Start game. Um, and we'll get on with it. Of course, you can load as many leagues as you want. For the purpose of this video, I've only loaded the English leagues. Anyway, you then need to go through the usual creator club process. I will take you through this because some of you may not know what this is all about and how to do this. But this is just the manager profile screen. Create a manager, use a profile that you've already selected. So just the usual thing on FM19. And then you need to select a club that you want to replace. So your creator club will replace a real club and it will be based on this team. So on FM17 with Regen Rovers, I replaced Paul Town. So we had a bit of their history, which is why on FM19, I want to use the proper editor to create the club. So there's there's no sort of backbone to the team. I want to create it from scratch. But this is the easy way to do it. Uh, it you can start in the Premier League, of course, but it's going to be incredibly tough with a load of 15, 16, 17 year old Regens. So let's start in the National League South to start with. I'm going to replace Gloucester. And then you just press create a club in the corner. And then you need to fill on the fill in the details. You give your club a name, give them a nickname, stadium name, and you can pick where they are based. And then you can do other things, like you can select a badge. You can import your own badge if you want. So you can go to your, your, your files and select a badge that you've created yourself. Uh, one of the downsides, I don't know if this has been changed, but on FM17, one of the downsides was that once you've selected your logo, you couldn't change it afterwards, which is why I want to use uh, the editor for FM19. But it doesn't really matter too much. and you, you may not care about that, but just bear in mind, I'm not 100% sure, but if it's still the same as previous, once you've selected your logo, you can't change it. But that may have changed. And then you can pick your, your cl the colours. You can just change it to whatever you want, really. Uh, that's the shirt color, so let's just just change it to to whatever. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. Well, you 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 may think it matters, but you can play around with this for hours if you really want to, and make sure all the the goalkeeper third kit. Does a goalkeeper ever use a third kit? But you can you can design your own third kit for the goalkeeper, and then there's a few other things. So you can decide to retain the current backroom staff. So your assistant manager and all that will not be sacked. But I don't want that because remember, my Save Regen Rovers was all about only using regens. That includes the backroom staff as well. There's other things. You might want to remove sort of rival clubs if there's anything in here. So you can start with your own history. Maybe remove the affiliated clubs as well. So you can just click remove or clear to clear them all. So there's various things you can do there. You can choose to keep the club history 
but this, that seems a bit weird if you're creating your own club. Now, the next bit is, is the second key bit. Now, the first bit, of course, was remembering to add players to the playable team, that button when you start the save. That's, that's a huge thing. And once you've clicked on that, you'll get loads of regens appear. So you can see, for example, Lewis Phillips is a regen. He's a fake player on the game. Doesn't have a real face. This is a generated face because he's a generated player. Michael Bird is the same. And you'll notice all of these 16-year-olds, possibly 17-year-olds are as well. Yep, they are. So the 16, 17-year-olds are the regens. Now, you'll want to remove everyone else because these are real-life players. And we don't want real-life players. We only want regens, remember. So you need to remove these other players. So what you can do is hold down Shift, click on this guy here, and then hold down Shift on your keyboard, scroll down to the bottom, click on that, and all you need to do is press remove player and it will remove them all. Don't press clear squad because it'll get rid of your, your regens as well and you have to go back to the start. So just press remove player and you've removed all of them and you've got a team of regens. And then you just go through, choose your managerial style. I mean, if, if we're being realistic, I'd be an awful manager at this level, of course. And that's it. You've created your club. You've got your badge. You've got your team name. You're in the, the National League South. You've got all your regions. I'm on the under-18 squad at the moment. That's where most of the players are. There's currently only two players in the first team squad, as you can see here. Cameron Collier and Noah Smurden. He's a real player. So you need to check. You need to check through for the real players because there might be the odd real 17-year-old, 16-year-old player in there. If you want to be completely 100% accurate, make sure you remove all of those real players before starting the game. Uh, but on the whole, these should probably be all regens. I hope they are anyway. You'll notice that some of them are absolutely atrocious. So you're going to have to go out and find some players. Scout for players. Just look for 16, 17-year-old players. A uh, simple thing to do, really. Do new search. Click on a centre-back, for example. Make sure the age is reduced down to 15 to 17-year-olds. Click on that. Make sure you untick that so you can find all the players. Now, a sneaky tip here is to insert a column. Go to General. Click Unique ID. Now, all the regens will start with a 191, I believe. Let's just double-check. So, Wilmot... Yep, he's a regen. Brian Mills, he's a regen. Terry Thewlis, he's a regen. Yeah, so all these players with 191. In fact, it starts 19154, I think, all the regens. So that's a top tip. You can add that column in and you can search by unique ID, basically. So any player that has this, for example, that's a real life player. But 191 is a real, is a, a regen, sorry. So hopefully you found this video informative and it's enabled you to create your own Regen Rovers Club for those of you that have no idea how to do this. There's been a few people asking me so I thought I'd make a video to help you out. If you have any questions, stick them in the comment section below. Like I said, Regen Rovers is returning for FM19 when the full game comes out in November. I'm going to be using the editor to create the club and I will make a separate video on how I did that. But this is the simple way to go about things and you can do it on the beta as well because the creator club mode is available on the FM19 beta. But until next time, enjoy Football Manager 2019. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.